Hello mga friends, madlang people, the barkads, kamusta kayo dyan? Ako po si Lani Lane Okubina from Ginobatan Albay. February na naman, and as others would say, it's the love month or Valentine season. Or puro mga kapusuan na naman, and probably some of the most affected people these days are the singles. Well, today I'd like to give an encouragement for you and share what I had to write five years ago sa isang libro na tinawag kong Seven Steps to Awesomeness While Being Single or Shouldn't You Be Awesome Being Single at 30 Plus? And uh, I would say this early on that yes, you can be awesome kahit single ka. So, let's go. So, ano yung seven steps na sinabi ko sa librong to? Okay, step one. Analyze yourself and the problems in and out. Leave the past behind you. Forgive. Or some things that you can reflect on are these questions. What does being single have to do with your life now? What does it have to do with others' lives as well? Does it really matter if you are alone now? Is there something in the past that makes your life a mess today? Have you forgiven everyone who has hurt you in the past? Well, forgiving is the beginning of healing. If something is still giving you that pain, get yourself back on track and deal with the pain. It has to pass. Otherwise, you'll be in trouble until you're 60 or beyond. If you will not move on now, then when? Very clear dito sa aking sinabi or sinulat na it is very important that we face our issues. Bakit kaya ikaw single ngayon? Maaring meron pang mga nagpupull back sa'yo in the past para hindi ka maka-move forward. And this very powerful tool called forgiveness is something that we have to grab and have a powerful grip on kasi kapag walang forgiveness it's very impossible to move forward so that's my first step suggestion <laughs> so analyze yourself and the problems inside and out tapos just leave the past behind although the learnings are there but you need to leave it behind and do not be surrounded by the fear the worry, the regrets in the past, you should focus on what's there as you move forward. So step two, be wise on your perspective about marriage. Understand what it is and its true value in one's life. So maaring tinanong, tinatanong mo yung sarili mo ngayon, mag-aasawa pa ba ako? O kaya, para sa akin pa rin ba ang pag-aasawa? And then, kung mag-aasawa man ako, sino kaya? Marriage is one of the most common yet confused commitments in the world. It has to be treated beautifully and considered holy. How do you view marriage today? Very important. Para sa iyo, ano ba ang pag-aasawa? Ang marriage? How much value do you see in it? A person's view kasi ng pag-aasawa will really affect the future of that person. And uh, this view also will affect the status, the civil status of the person. May mga tao, they remain single because they are afraid of getting married. They are afraid of the commitment. Pero may mga tao naman na they get married because they are brave enough to face the challenges. Pero ikaw, para sa'yo, ano ba yung pag-aasawa? And um, ang pinakamagandang sagot dito, I believe, is view marriage the way God views it. So it's still the standard of uh, establishing the view or perspective on marriage. We should understand it the way God sees it. And uh, just to give a basic comment about that or about what the Bible says about marriage is that God sees marriage as a gift and it should be holy. 
So step three, emphasize the beauty behind being single. Focus on the positives but reckon with the negatives which you get to step on to push you to the top. If you're single, it's normal to feel like you are not normal. Kasi sa panahon ngayon, some people will just let you feel that way. Na parang abnormal ka kasi single ka. <laughs> parang ganun. But I hope this would not get into you. Kasi kagaya ng introduction ko dito sa, sa book na to, hindi lahat ng nasa relasyon ay masaya. At hindi din naman lahat ng single ay malungkot. Nasa pagdadala yan, di ba? Huwag kang padadala sa stigma ng lipunan na kapag single ka, something is wrong. No, I will tell you, nothing is wrong with you kung single ka hanggang ngayon. Nasa 30s ka na, nasa 40s ka, or nasa late 20s ka, and you're single, and other people will see you as not normal at all, or that maybe there's something wrong about you. No, don't let that get into you. Kasi, I believe God has a purpose, God has a divine reason why He is not yet allowing you to be in the relationship at the moment. And you are to decipher that purpose na dinisign talaga ni Lord, bakit hanggang ngayon wala pa. And always keep yourself braced and uh, protected from what others would say. Huwag tayong papadala sa mga masamang komento ng lipunan, dun sa stigma na pinatawag. You're awesome, even if you're single. May time siguro nakaka-feel ka ng panghihina or pagkaingit kapag may nakikita kang couples na very sweet tapos ikaw mag-isa. Many times nga, ako personally, pag kumakain ako sa labas na mag-isa because I usually do that. Nagsisine pa nga ako mag-isa. Minsan nagpupunta ako kung saan-saan, even in the arcades <laughs> ng mag-isa. Tapos may makikita akong couples and very sweet sila, may nagdadala ng, ng mabibigat na gamit, mga ganyang sistema <laughs> na nangyayari. But, I just embrace the gift of singleness. Kasi maraming pinapakita, maraming tinuturo si Lord habang single ako. And I'm just so blessed with all the learnings that the Lord has been giving There is much to appreciate in being single when you are living alone, without someone, for now. God has a reason why He has put you in such a situation, and for sure, the loneliness is just temporary. Perhaps you still don't see the beauty in it. Look deeper and see the gift in it. Step 4. Serve and don't be served. Life is not about you. You have a mission to accomplish. Maybe it's time that you ask yourself, what is the purpose of my being single at the moment? And what can I contribute to the outside world? <laughs> Do not get stuck with your own world. You have a real world to reconnect with. Life is not just a quick dash of being born, learning to walk, going, and finishing school, and then getting married and die. You have a purpose to fulfill. You know, I really believe that marriage is not our main purpose in life. Some people would see na um, pinanganak ka sa mundo para mag-asawa at magkaanak at mamatay na. For me, it's more than that. Marriage is just part of life, but it is not the main thing in life at all. So, I encourage you to look beyond marriage because life is so much more. It's like a mystery box na oops, my Shopee. <laughs> Pagkasabi ko ng box, my Shopee. So, it's like a mystery box na nakaka-excite buksan at ma-discover kung ano ba yung nasa loob nun. And when you open that box, Marriage is just one of the items inside. Pero ang dami ding, magaganda ding bagay na nasa loob. It's worth discovering. Uh, step 5. 
optimize life to serve God and others better. Keep yourself healthy, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Some questions to reflect on. How do I pamper myself so as to present a new me in the world? And how do I function as a single person in a world that gives outrageous value on being in a relationship? So what are you doing now, habang single ka, to improve yourself? And uh, how do you prepare yourself? Kasi I believe you are made for something more. The Lord has designed a purpose for you. And they just have to discover that, live with that. And dahil dun sa bagay na yun, paano mo pinaprepare yung sarili mo? Physically, mentally, emotionally. And of course, most importantly, spiritually. Because I do believe that you are here on earth not to be served, but to serve. Sabi nga sa Bible, it's better to give than to receive. Or it's more blessed to give than to receive. Hindi di ba maganda na ikaw lagi yung sineserve, ikaw lagi yung nakakatanggap. Mas masaya yung ikaw yung nagbibigay, ikaw yung nagsaserve. Science says that you behave according to your blood type. And it also says that your depression depends on the level of your cortisol. So medyo scientific tayo dito. No? Your thyroid has something to do with your brain function as well according to studies you may be clinically unwell but many bible characters also have blood cortisol thyroid and so forth and jesus also had this when he walked on earth they all made a difference though no matter the scientific circumstances were learn from them and don't take science as an alibi <laughs> so <laughs> Hindi natin dapat gamitin alibay na sa science, ito yung sinasabi, ganyan. I'm clinically unwell and all. But uh, many times we are called to really read, watch the word of God, dissect, exegete, and uh, really understand what happened. Kasi yung mga Bible characters, tao din sila. And they... Uh, most likely, they have been into all the troubles that we are in right now. There are answers in the Word of God. There are answers in the Bible. And we just have to read it well. But I'm not saying that I don't believe in mental problems. Of course, these are very serious matters to reckon with. Hindi natin pwedeng basta lang i-ignore ang issue na to. Pero yung point ko dito, yung context ko, or yung context ng sinasabi ko is more about losing one's senses kapag heartbroken or feeling lonely and tired dahil sa pagiging single lang. Kung yun lang yung reason. I mean, you have so much to be thankful for today. And I believe that you can make such a huge change and be a great blessing by God's grace. So, optimize life. Serve God, serve others. Step 6. Meditate on God's word and keep praying while waiting. Your forever is coming. I don't have patience in waiting, but I don't have a choice. <laughs> Sabi ko dito. Yeah, most of us, we really hate waiting. But many times, we don't have a choice but wait. So, ikaw bilang single, maring naubos na yung pasensya mo, pero... Wala kang choice, maghihintay ka. <laughs> but I believe being single is really a gift kasi it gives you more patience. Talagang na-stretch ang yung patience and it's a, it's a great learning sa buhay. Kapag ikaw ay mapagpasensyang tao, wow, that's, that's really something. And uh, probably that's one of the greatest purpose of being single, no? na tayo ay manatiling tapat habang naghihintay. Manatiling tapat sa Lord, manatiling tapat sa ating paglilingkod sa Kanya. Who finds joy and gladness in waiting? Maybe you don't. Nobody seems to. But our Almighty God has been patiently waiting for us to learn things. We frustrate Him, but He gives grace. We sin against Him, but He forgives. How can 
he be so patient with idiotic dusts like us in a microscopic planet Earth? Well, he is our dad and we came from him. He surely has ways for us to learn from his values too. It's really important that we meditate on his word. And uh, being single, it gives you more time to be alone with God and seek him and know him better. And the more you know him better, the more you get uh, your path straight. And that straight path will lead you to the right person. I will guarantee you. Kahit hindi ko pa na tatagpuan ngayon. But I really believe in that. The last step. Step 7. Engage yourself to the will of God. And He will give you the desires of your heart. According to His will and time. Actually, in the book, I've put... A covenant of awesomeness while being single and this is a covenant that I would also suggest that you take habang single ka pa no? bago ka mag take off from being single to being someone in the relationship sabi dito sa covenant to awesomeness while being single I a believer and follower of Christ Jesus Proclaim my love for my Savior who died on the cross for my sins. Declare my commitment to Him as my Commander-in-Chief and with arms wide open surrender my life no matter the cost. Furthermore, I do hereby submit the following to Him. Who has created me and still molding me until today for His mighty purpose? 1. That I will continue to do my best to know Jesus and work out my relationship with Him through the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. 2. That I will commit myself to my Heavenly Father's will and work hard to present myself as a pleasing sacrifice to Him. 3. That I will patiently wait in His will and trust that He is in charge of my life even at times that I feel lonely being single. 4. That I will continue to trust Him and hold my ground even at times that I am tempted to love a person whom I understand is not according to His will. 5. That I will not be overcome by the extreme worry and loneliness of being alone, especially when I desperately long for a spouse, kids, and a home of my own. 6. That I will not take any step that is outside His will. 7. That I will not make any decisions based on the pleasure of my flesh. 8. That I will not let anything or anyone rob the joy that the Holy Spirit has planted in me no matter the circumstance. 9. That I will eagerly and desperately listen to God's voice every second of my life. 10. That I will joyfully join my Heavenly Father in His mission on earth. 11. That I will courageously wear my war suit and declare war against Satan so that captives will be set free. 12. That I will testify to Jesus' love for me for as long as I live. 13. That I will be a blessing to my family, to my church, to all communities around me, to my office mates, to my classmates, to my friends, and all people whom I am about to meet. 14. That I will not grow tired and weary because Jesus remains to be my rock and salvation. And 15. That I will not be ashamed of being single because God is with me and that I trust Him for His plan that one day I will wake up thanking Him for my wedding day which marks the day and on when I will live the rest of my life with a person whom He has prepared for me. All this I surrender in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope these words have encouraged you today and I really pray for your happiness because you deserve it. God bless you.